into my life, I honestly was a wreck. What Jack does for me is he is able to recognize a panic attack before it actually happens. When I am beginning to feel stress, my body actually secretes the hormone cortisol through my sweat. Jack can detect that by smelling it, which is insane. Jack, go get my medicine. Come, drop. I first met Jack as a puppy and he was so small. I knew that he was going to be trained to be my service dog and I was so excited. I fell in love immediately. But having a service dog actually takes years of training. So when I got him as a puppy, I knew it was going to be a long, long road. <laughs> Jack went into his service dog training program. He had a job to do, and you could tell that he was serious about his job. One thing I do when I'm having a panic attack is put my head between my knees while I'm laying on the ground. Jack is trained to dive underneath me so I don't hit my head on the ground. My panic disorder and PTSD started when I was nine years old. My parents and I were missionaries in Taiwan. There was a very big earthquake. It was extremely traumatic. My bed flipped over on top of me and I was stuck under there. I'm lucky to be alive. Ever since that moment, I'll just have panic attack out of absolutely nowhere. I spent my whole life in therapy, going to doctors. After about 10 years, I got a recommendation from my doctor to look into having a service dog. When you have a service dog, it just becomes a part of you. We are a package deal, so wherever I go, Jack comes too. I can't imagine life without Jack. I don't want to. <laughs> He's definitely someone that I am completely bonded to. We're a pair. We go together. If my story resonated with you, then I would absolutely encourage you to look into surface dogs because Jack has been a lifesaver.